Are you a new mom trying to figure out the best way to pump your breasts? Are you struggling to find the proper techniques to make the process easier and more efficient? If so, then this video is for you. We'll provide a step-by-step -step guide to mastering breast pumping with tips specifically tailored to larger breasts. From the right equipment and techniques to avoid common mistakes, we'll make sure you get the most out of your pumping experience. So, if you're ready to start, Let's get hooked up to mastering breast pumping. Tips for larger breasts. 1. Adjust the suction settings. When you're pumping with larger breasts, it's important to adjust the suction settings on your pump. Start by setting the lowest suction level and slowly increase it until you reach a comfortable level. This will help ensure that your nipples are not being overstimulated or pinched by the flanges. 2. Wear a supportive bra. You should also wear a supportive bra when pumping to help keep your breasts in place and reduce any back strain. A maternity or nursing bra is ideal for this purpose as it will provide extra support while also allowing for easy access to the flanges. 3. Massage your breasts. When you start pumping, take some time to massage your breasts in order to stimulate milk production and get them ready for the session ahead of you. Make sure that each breast is massaged thoroughly before beginning the process of pumping so that you can maximize the amount of milk produced during each session. 4. Use larger flange sizes. It's important to use larger flange sizes when pumping. If you have larger breasts, since they'll provide more space between your nipple and breast shield, thus reducing pinching and providing a more comfortable experience overall. It may be helpful to try several different flange sizes until you find the one that works best for you. 5. Take breaks during sessions. Finally, try to take breaks during your pumping sessions to give your breasts a break from the suction. This will also help ensure that you don't become too sore or uncomfortable and will allow for a more productive and enjoyable experience. How can I ensure I'm using the correct size flange for my breast pump? The best way to ensure that you're using the correct size flange for your breast pump is to measure your nipple diameter and then select a flange size that is slightly larger. It is important to note that the diameter of the nipple should be measured before pumping as it can change shape depending on the suction settings. Additionally, it may be helpful to try out several different sizes until you find the one that provides a comfortable fit. Tips for storing larger amounts of breast milk. One. Use clean containers. Make sure that you are always using clean containers when storing breast milk. This will help prevent bacteria from growing in the milk and also ensure that your baby is receiving the safest possible product. 2. Label containers. When storing large amounts of breast milk, it is important to label the containers with the date and time of pumping so you know how long it has been stored for and when it should be used by. 3. Freeze milk quickly. When freezing larger amounts of breast milk, make sure to freeze it quickly by putting it in a shallow container or bag so that cold air can circulate around the container easily and cool down the milk quickly. 4. Store milk at proper temperature. Breast milk should be stored at a temperature between 4C32 to 39F. Refrigerators are ideal for short-term storage up to 5 days while freezers can be used for long-term storage up to 6 months. 5 use of older milk first. To ensure that your baby is getting fresh, nutritious milk, try to use up older batches of stored breast milk first before opening new ones. 6. Discard spoiled milk. Make sure to discard any spoiled or expired milk immediately as it can be hazardous to your baby's health. We hope this video was helpful in mastering breast pumping with larger breasts. Remember that the key is to get the right size flange, adjust the suction and speed settings and take frequent breaks. If you have any other questions or need more advice, be sure to leave a comment and subscribe to our channel for more helpful tips.